Right, Legra, classic bangers and mash, right? I reckon most people who've stepped in a kitchen have made it. Um, and I'm, I'm going to go for a Cumberland sausage. And the mash, I'm going to kind of customise with a few spring onions, a little bit of cheese. I'm going to have an onion gravy going on, uh, a sort of honey mustard affair. Uh, yeah. Like you, I've chosen the Cumberland, but unlike you, I've gone the really classic route and gone for the ring. So here is my nice Cumberland ring. On it goes. Why, why ring? Because it's not a taste any different. I mean, what, what's... It's is traditional, it you serve it's classic. It? It's, yeah. Are you going to serve this like in the middle of the table? This is a family supper. I yeah. mean, you know, it's not a restaurant, is it? You serve, no. you serve a big serving platter for the family. Do you plate up at home? Oh, I don't plate you, you, I don't you, spend hours plating up. You've been up, working at this game too long, long mate. plates, you know, it's it gonna, reduces uh, washing up. You're not going to seal it off or colour it or anything? No, just throw it in. Lamb it in. Nice and hot oven, that's it, just throw that in. Allegra's Cumberland ring needs 30 minutes at 180 Celsius, so with it safely in the oven, she turns her attention to the onion gravy. So here, I've got my nice red onions and some garlic. You just want to get a little bit of the caramelisation on the bottom of the pan. And again, on the onions, just to get out that sweetness. And then we're going to lob in some wine. Because you think you can't cook with wine for kids, but you can, actually. You just burn off the alcohol and it just gives it a nice, deep richness. Allegra adds bay leaves, thyme and chicken stock to her caramelised onions, garlic and red wine and leaves it to simmer. Time for Paul to get started on his bangers. I'm going to colour the sausages off. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil into this pan here. Sausages in. And then this is just to make sure that we've got a really beautiful brown outside to the sausage before they go in the oven. OK, so whilst those are colouring off, uh, we're going to move on to the onions. Now, I've got two types of onions going on here. I've got some spring onions, which are going to go in the mash, and I've got your bog standard brown skin white fleshed onion, which is going to be turned into onion rings. Yeah. I'm going to take a couple of the outside skins off, just so that we get down to the really sweet onion. And then just to throw it out there... I love onions. How rings. classic is that? Um, well, I do mean, you know what? In our house, it is classic. Paul slices the onion into rings before coating in seasoned flour, then beaten egg and milk, and finally panko breadcrumbs. Just make sure they're well coated. Those are panko, aren't they? Yeah, these are Japanese breadcrumbs. I love those. Which are, I mean, literally buying a packet. And they give it nice shardy edges, don't they? Yeah, they're beautiful. These are going in the oven, probably about, I don't know, 15 minutes, something like that? Mm -hmm. Right. Lovely. We're 15 minutes away from the classic sausage and mash. Two different takes on this all-time family favourite, but which recipe for bangers and mash will the judges decide is truly perfect? 